In December, I first started to feel unwell. I just wasn't feeling myself. I was more fatigued than normal. I used to go to the gym five, six, seven times a week. That was a big part of my life. It was a big part of my social life. It declined because I was becoming unwell. Went to A&E where they monitored my heart rate, had a chest x-ray and some blood tests, and they said, well, your heart rate is irregular, but we're not really sure why. Then I noticed the swelling in my calf. From there, I started to really notice the shortness of breath. And the kind of shortness of breath that I'm talking about is where you are actually huffing and puffing at the end of a task. I had started to bring up small amounts of blood. Actually, the symptoms that I was having at the time were very typical of a DVT and a pulmonary embolism. I had 18 different interactions and appointments with healthcare professionals, and it wasn't until May that I was diagnosed and admitted to hospital. When I came back from the CT scan, they said, both of your lungs are just full of clots. It was a feeling of relief that actually there was something wrong with me and it was being diagnosed. So pulmonary embolism is when some of the clot in the leg or in the pelvis breaks off, travels through the body and will go and block a pulmonary artery in in the uh, lungs. And if you have a really big one, unfortunately, if it blocks all the blood supply, it, it can cause sudden death. Smaller ones cause different symptoms. So quite often people are a little bit short of breath suddenly, or they might have some chest pain or they might cough up some blood. Those are the classic symptoms. But many people might have a different set of symptoms. So because they're blocking the blood supply, they might feel quite like headed or even a little bit panicky because they're short of oxygen. If we find there's a pulmonary embolism, then the treatment must be anticoagulation. And anticoagulation can come either as a tablet, if it's a small one, or if it's a little bit worrying and it's a big one, uh, you might have heparin injections or actually a heparin infusion directly into the vein. Occasionally, we need to use clot busters if there's a lot of clot there.